I ranked many things in Project Zomboid, from trades to professions, from guns to vehicles, but today I wanted to rank all of the weapons added by the amazing Simple Overhaul Melee Weapons mod. It not only adds new melee weapons like various axes, new types of machetes, baseball bats and various other tools of mayhem, but it also rebalances all of the pre-existing vanilla Project Zomboid weaponry and in some cases adds new icons and models to the game as well. Because I already ranked vanilla weapons twice in these two videos, I'll only be ranking the newly added weapons today, but I'll be comparing them to the vanilla ones so you get an idea how they compare to the weapons you're used to. Also, worry not, I'll mention any changes made to the OG weaponry where that matters. And since we have a lot of stuff to rank, why don't you just sit down, relax, maybe grab a bite to eat? And there's no better place to do that than with today's video sponsor, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. If you want to save money, time and eat better, HelloFresh is here to help you. They have a massive amount of chef-crafted recipes you can prepare in no time, with fresh ingredients delivered right at your doorstep. To me, staring blankly at the fridge, trying to decide what to make for dinner is the biggest time waster every day. But with HelloFresh, every box arrives pre-portioned with exactly the ingredients you need to cook your gourmet meal from their large menu with more than 45 recipes. They handle the meal planning and shopping, so all you have to do is open your box and cook a delicious meal. But do you know what makes such a meal even better? A great dessert. And if you use my code COCO16FM to subscribe now, you'll get a free dessert with every HelloFresh meal for life. What's even sweeter, with HelloFresh bargain prices, even a YouTuber like me can afford to eat healthy food. And I wish I knew that before going through my neighbor's dumpster because that guy that guy eats beans every day and you can just imagine how my apartment smells now but enough about me what are you waiting for click the link in the description below and use my code coco16fm or scan this qr code and get 16 free meals plus free dessert for life while your subscription is active now let's get back to the zombies at hand and use the correct tools so they don't eat us now first we're gonna look at axes as you can see over here we have a couple new added over here and let's focus on one-handed axes first now first we have a camping hatchet now this one deals the most damage out of the all of the new one-handed axes but it's so close to the other ones that you're probably not even gonna notice now it does deal slightly less damage than your uh, hatchet that you're used to the hand axe that is part of vanilla but it also feels like it's one of the more common axes you can find out there i found quite a lot of them and i feel like it's one of those like really perfect side weapons so out of all of these i'm gonna put this one up here into a tier next on the list we have the roofing axe now this one deals slightly less damage than the camping hatchet but it's not something that you're gonna notice also it's slightly heavier but again not to the point that it would make any difference really but it also feels like it's less common i haven't seen them as much around but then again, I do play with very, very uh, rare loot. And uh, when we're using this on my multiplayer server, their loot there is also on extremely rare. So I don't, I don't get to see it as much. But the good thing about this one and why I really like it Two things actually it looks really cool and that's always important with weapons and you can actually use it as a hammer. So when you're trying to build something, you can actually use this axe to, let's say, build a water barrel or something like that. So because of that, I feel like this one deserves to be up here in the A tier as well. Next we have the Ice Axe. This one seems to me to be the least common of the 100 axes, at least what I've seen so far. Maybe I'm just unlucky. But uh, it has the same damage as the Roofing Axe, but it's much lighter. So while these two are pretty much almost the same weight, roofing axe being slightly lighter, then we have the ice axe that is much, much lighter. So this one I believe is 1.5 in weight, the roofing axe, and then you have the ice axe that is just uh, one, I guess, kilo or one weight. So it's, it's quite a difference over here. It also has a better crit chance. So really these three can all be up here in the A tier and they all deserve to be in A tier because they are just great secondary weapon, especially if you're focusing more on access. They're all great, they're all useful. It's just your personal preference, which one you wanna pick. And then the last of the one-handed axes, we have the Entrenching Shovel. I know it's called Shovel, but it's Axe. It deals Axe damage, it levels up your Axe, so it's an Axe, because you know, you can't you swing it like an Axe. Anyway, this one is light, 
just like the ice axe but it deals much less damage than all of these axes so damage component just smaller it deals the same damage as your standard stone axe which now with this uh, mod is one-handed axe because otherwise it's a two-handed axe so it can very much compare to the uh, stone axe but the durability is much better than what stone axe has so you know while it's still decent i don't think it's anywhere as good as all of these so we're gonna put it down here in the seat here next on the list we have carpenter's axe this is the first one of the two two-handed axes that were added by this mod and as you can imagine a two-handed axe is just pretty amazing it deals slightly less damage than your normal uh, fire axe but is also lighter so it's almost like one whole weight lighter than your fire axe so you know if weight is something that you consider a problem on your character maybe your character isn't as strong as such then this one is much better and i think uh when it comes to all of these weapons i think it deserves to be up here in the s tier because the damage can deal it's uh it's pretty crazy it's pretty good and uh yeah s tier then the second one is the improvised axe this one you can actually make from a shovel basically all you need is a, a hammer a uh, file and uh, a saw and you can just turn your normal shovel into an axe like this so you can actually use it as an axe which is something that is good for you if you are a axe user and you don't really care about long blunt you can do that that being said it does have much less durability than your normal axes but that's normal with every weapon that you make yourself the durability will always suffer because of that right it also deals less damage than the carpenter's axe but it is much lighter so there is that like carpenter's axe i think we said is like 2.2 in weight this one is like 1.6 or something like that so it's very light but still i think the durability is not that great and uh, it just feels to be like somewhere in the middle while it does look cool i think it deserves to be in b tier now we switch to long blonde and as you can see over here we have a lot of new baseball bats which is kind of freaking cool because i do like baseball bats i think they're one of the coolest weapons you know they fit very well with project zomboid and zombie apocalypse stuff you know just bashing brains out with uh, bats who doesn't like that now first on list we have the aluminium bat and this one i'm just gonna say all of these have very comparable damage you probably won't notice the damage difference it's really so close that you know you're not gonna notice now the good thing about the aluminium bat it's much lighter than the other ones so again if your character is not as strong or if you're gonna be fighting a lot and swinging a lot you know that that always matters so your character doesn't get exhausted as as fast as they otherwise would so it's great for that it does have less durability and it's harder to repair than the other ones where you just you know add nails or stuff like that in your uh, we all know how a spiked baseball bat you know is easy to repair like that so all that being said i think this one is still really awesome because it just has that really cool aluminium look and the coolness factor here prevails to just edge out there and be s tier then we have the baseball bat with added screws so this one is the next one basically it's got the same damage as the next one these two are same ish but it does have better durability in fact it has best durability out of these three that we have here with screws with wire and then with barbed wire this one has the best durability i feel like it should be up here in the like top of a tier it's not quite as but it's up there the difference between these is really so small you can just pick whichever you prefer personally the most and same goes for the one with wire i think in the end this is gonna come down to what do you have at hand do you have screws do you have wire do you have bar barbed wire you know and that's what you're gonna use to make your basic baseball better right so um this one it's really the middle of the pack it's got the same damage as the one with screws but it has less durability so we're gonna put it up here in the a tier just below this one and then the last one is the one with barbed wire maybe barbed wire might be the hardest to find out of all of these so it might be the rarest but since it's barbed wire it also deals a bit more damage than these ones again not something that would be really noticeable 
while you're playing, but it deals a bit more damage, it has a bit higher crit, it does have the lowest durability of these three that you can make. But still, a baseball bat with barbed wire is something that every enjoyer of zombie movies, games, whatever, is gonna appreciate. So this one is just gonna be just at the edge of S tier up here. Next, then, we have the metal and lead pipes and bars. And you're gonna say, Kirko, those are in vanilla. Why are you ranking them here? Well, these are the long versions. These are long blunt versions, and then the normal ones are short blunt now. So we have these ones that are special. So first, we have the long lead pipe. This one is heavier than the metal versions. It does slightly more damage, but again, not that it would be noticeable. These are really comparable but it is slightly heavier. It also has better durability, but I think, um, I feel like, because it's a bit heavier, we're gonna put it somewhere in the middle of these three. So I'm gonna put it up here in the uh, B tier. Then we have the uh, long metal pipe. Now these things actually have roughly the same damage as the baseball bats, which is, you know, not something you would uh, expect. They don't have the coolness factor, but they're pretty common, right? You, you're not really gonna have trouble finding like long uh, metal pipes and something like that. So it's, it's actually pretty decent. And I think the long metal pipe might be the best of all the three, everything combined. It's it's really hard to judge over here, but let's, let's, let's give this one an A tier. So they have a representative in the A tier, these uh, pipes and such. And then of course we have the long metal bar, this one, again, roughly the same damage as baseball bats. It does have a much worse durability. So while it's easy to find, it's gonna break much faster. So let's put this one out here in the B tier as well, uh, next to the lead pipe. And then next we have a wild man weapon. It's a tree branch, yes, you can just use tree branches now. So they're extremely common, very easy to find. But of course, they deal shit damage and they break very fast. So it's that thing that you have to weight amongst itself. So the damage is comparable to something like a leaf rake. Of course, it's very light, but you know the leaf rakes break really fast, right? But if you live in a forest or if you just started a game and you can just forage in the forest and find some branches, you know, just so you have something and you can't even make a spear out of it, right? It's better than nothing. It's definitely better than nothing. And of course, with high blunt and high maintenance, it's gonna last you long. It's also extremely light. But compared to all of these other weapons that we have here, it's gotta be F tier. Then we have the walking cane. This one kind of compares to the vanilla golf club. So you can imagine golf clubs will bend pretty fast. Same for the walking cane. It will break pretty fast, but it's one of the lightest long blunt weapons if strength is a problem you know you can go with that but just expect it's gonna break pretty fast so it's not something you're gonna uh use long term but again it's pretty light so i guess it's got that going for it we're just gonna put it out here in the uh c tier next to the shovel now we're gonna switch to short blunt and we have quite a few weapons over here first amongst them is the fire poker which i kind of like it's uh, very similar to a hammer when it comes to weight and when it comes to uh, damage it can deal, but it feels like it's got really good reach. You know, it feels like it's longer than most of the short blown weapons you can use. Of course, it does have less crit, it has have uh, less durability than let's say a hammer, but I feel like it's a pretty decent like middle of the pack weapon that you can put on a belt and just, you know, use as a side weapon if you're going for blunt. Next, we have the L-shaped lug wrench. This is a wrench you can't actually use for mechanics, so it's not a tool like a wrench would be. It's very similar in like weight and damage to a wrench, but it's not useful for any other things. So generally not a very useful weapon. There's many much better ones out there. So I feel like if you're just going for a short blunt as your sidearm, this one is gonna be low on your list because it's also pretty short range and it just doesn't do as much as some of the other weapons. So we're gonna put it out here in the C tier. And the same then goes for the meat tenderizer. This one is very similar to the uh, log wrench. It's also very short range, but it deals slightly more damage. It has slightly better crit. So it's probably not something you're gonna notice in game. Uh, it, it, is, it is a cool weapon in a way, because you know, it's a meat tenderizer and you're gonna be tenderizing a lot of meat with it. But 
yeah, it's, it's still not the best out of the uh, side weapons or side arms when it comes to short blunt and such. So I'm going to put it out here in the C tier. Next, we have a half plank. You know how you can use a plank as a long blunt weapon? Well, if you break that one in half, you get two short blunt weapons. Imagine that. But yes, it's not a very good weapon. You're not going to do much damage to it, even though it's comparable to, let's say, like a rolling pin from vanilla. So we all know rolling pin is one of... <laughs> You know, the coolest early game weapons when you just grab whatever you can from your starting house and rolling pin or a, some, or a pan is something like that usually, right? But this one has much, much, much lower durability, so it's not gonna last you long. It's gonna break pretty fast and uh, it's short range, so that is also unfortunate. So yes, half plank, it's gonna have to be out here in the F tier. It's not really one I would uh, suggest you use a lot, but if you don't have anything else, well, might as well do that if you're going for short blunt. Then we have the half plank improved with nails. So, you know, just add some nails to half plank. You're gonna need a hammer for that, so you're probably better off using that hammer to fight, but maybe you're saving that hammer to, I don't know, build something. So that's why you're going with half plank with nails. You know what? You do you, I'm not judging. Again, when it comes to damage, it's just slightly better than your normal half plank and the durability is even lower. So uh, again, as you can imagine, not the best weapon. We're going to put it out here in the F tier as well. It's going to join the branch and all that stuff. And of course, speaking of branches, we have the short branch over here or the short tree branch. Basically, you snap the branch in two, the long one, and you have two short blunt weapons. But naturally, it's one of the lowest damage and durability weapons amongst short blunt or amongst all of the weapons in Project Zomboid, really. The only good thing about this, it's it's just available. It's, it's everywhere. You know, branches are, are everywhere. You can find them very easily. I would still say it's probably better you make spears out of them. You're gonna win you know, at that. But if you're going for like that wild man Ooga Booga playthrough, hey, might as well snap a branch in two and just go with it. But still, it's gonna have to be F tier, like lowest of them all. Now, we get to some exciting stuff, right? We have long blades over here. In base game, long blades are really, really badly represented. You have a katana, you have a machete, and that's it. And those are pretty rare weapons, of course they deal a lot of damage, but they're pretty rare. And maybe you want to save those until your long blunt skill is much higher, or maybe you want to save them for when there's a lot of zombies around. So now, with this mod, you get more options, so you might feel better about that. Now, let's take a look at them, shall we? First on the list, we have the Garden Scythe, which in my opinion, wins on the coolness factor easily. Out of all of these weapons, easily it wins on the coolness factor. It's just, you know, you're basically a reaper with this one, right? It deals by a slight margin the most damage out of the all of the new uh, long blade weapons over here, but really not something you're gonna notice. The great thing about it is the reach. It just, the reach is just long, you know, it can just swipe zombies across half the map. Not really, but yeah, you have the good reach and that's good. Of course, the damage, while it's slightly better than the next machetes we have on the list, it's nowhere near the actual katana. But still, you know, with a bit of a long blade skill, you're gonna be just one-shotting every zombie out there, so yeah. It does, unfortunately, has by far the worst durability out of all these machetes that have been added so that's its downfall but otherwise it's a really cool weapon and because of the coolness factor yeah i'm dropping it up here in the s tier next on the list we then have a military machete now this one might be a bit hard to find if you're not going like to military checkpoints and such uh but it's it's pretty cool it's pretty awesome it has a bit more damage than the other machetes that have been added also now with this mod machetes actually sheath at your uh, belt so you don't need to put it on your back which is i think a great change it is a bit heavier than the other machetes uh in here so that's it's let's say a downfall for it but it's not that heavy and it has by far the greatest durability out of all of these. You know, long blade weapons always had problems that they would break easily and you know, you can't repair a katana. 
so you use it you lose it and that's it but this one has great durability and i feel like because of that you know it allows you to let's say level up your long blade very high until you actually uh, use katana and maybe your maintenance as well so i think it definitely deserves to be up here in the s tier next on the list we have kukri this one is very comparable to the machete you're used from vanilla it feels to me like it has slightly lower range but that might just be me it's just the feeling i got from uh, fighting with it and wielding it uh, so it's I don't feel it's as good as the military machete especially because the durability is of course lower But still it's a machete. It also now holsters on the belt as I mentioned and it's, it's just great You're gonna do a lot with this one or any other machete So I'm gonna put this one up here in the uh, A tier as well And then the last machete we have is the bill hook machete. This one is just as light as kukri which are both are lighter than the uh, normal vanilla machete it does have the lowest damage of the new machetes added so if you're just looking for damage this one might feel that you know often you're gonna need a couple extra swipes to clear out a whole group of zombies but again it's a machete so you're still gonna be doing a lot of damage and i feel like it's very useful it really depends which machetes you can find and i guess those that you find those you're gonna use right I still think this one is up here in A tier. It could be anywhere around here. So I'll just put it maybe like right there. Then the last of the long blades is something that I did not think would be a long blade when I first used it in my playthrough. It's the garden shears or I guess the garden shears blade. When you find garden shears in the game, you can now use a screwdriver to take them apart and you actually get two blades out of them. So that's awesome. Yes, it deals the least damage out of all of these new long blade weapons. Yes, it has the worst durability. So though in those cases, yes, not very good, right? It's kind of a, like a poor man's machete. It is the lightest though, and I feel like it's great for training long blunt. Because I feel like it's one of those weapons that when it breaks, you're like, okay, you know, it broke, whatever. It's just a garden shear blade, right? It's not like, oh no, I broke a katana, just training long blade. That sucks. No, I just broke a garden shear blade. I'm just gonna find another one. So I feel like for that, it would deserve to be in A tier. But, you know, if we just look at the damage wise and all that stuff, it's not that great. So I'm just gonna put it like the top of b tier over here okay now we go to short blades and if you watch any of my videos you know that short blade is my least favorite uh, weapon category out of all of them but that doesn't mean these are not good so we have military knife we have combat knife and we have camping knife over here all three of this are very very similar they're all very similar to the vanilla hunting knife so if you personally like using a hunting knife then all of these three are going to be great fine for you they do have slight differences that i'm going to talk about them right now so weight and damage for this military knife is very very same-ish as a hunting knife it does have a better durability and that seems to be the case with these military weapons you can find over here so for that i'm gonna put it up here in the b tier really it's up to you what you like right if you like using short uh, blade it's probably higher it's gonna be somewhere in the middle for a normal project zomboid enjoyer then we have the combat knight which is really really very similar to a hunting knife and the military knife it still has slightly better durability than a hunting knife but less durability than a, a military knife so we're just gonna put it next to it and then the last of these three is the camping knife very similar again to the hunting knife it does have slightly less damage it's slightly heavier and it has the same durability as a hunting knife so out of these three it's probably the worst but they are so close to each other that when you actually use them in combat you are probably not ever gonna notice a difference they are so close to each other then we have the butterfly knife this one has much lower damage than all these three knives right it's more comparable in weight and damage to let's say a screwdriver and while it is much less durable than the other knives i feel like it's also very 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 common to find one of these stabbed into a zombie like i've seen 
hundreds of zombies, I feel like, with these ones while playing in my recent playthrough. I'm not picking them up anymore. It just feels like these are everywhere. You can find them everywhere. And if you're using a uh, short blade, then they're going to be great for you. But I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's like C tier for me over here somewhere. Then we have a sharp trowel. So basically all you need to do is grab a trowel. You need a hand file, you need a hammer, you need a saw, and you can sharpen it. It's going to do a bit better damage than your normal trowel would do if you ever actually use that as a weapon. But while the damage stats are actually kind of similar ish to let's say a camping knife the durability is just much much lower so this one's gonna break pretty fast and i feel like with the availability of other knives you're probably not gonna be using this one much so i'm just gonna drop it down here in the f tier i feel like it's really not a weapon that you should be looking for then the last one we have the hand file which counts as a knife it deals the least damage of all these new knives that have been added so because of that it's not very good but if you listen to me you might have noticed that i have mentioned it a couple of times that you need the hand file to make new weapons like the improvised axe over there like the sharpened trowel and later on you'll see the the spear over here as well you actually need this as a tool so it actually is useful as a tool while might not be as useful as a weapon but it does have one additional bonus the durability on it is actually pretty amazing it's not really gonna break that fast so you know it has that and it's an actual useful tool so for that i'm gonna put it out here in the c tier and all that remains are the spears i'm only gonna be ranking three here i'm gonna explain exactly why uh, but as you can imagine, all of these new uh, knives and machetes can be attached to spears and deal damage. But they are so similar to one another. Well, let's talk about that a bit later. Let's first focus on the improvised spear. So an improvised metal spear can again be, be made from a shovel. If you use a saw, a hammer and a hand file. And it does have damage similar to a garden fork and if you watch my previous rankings you know that i rank garden fork very high because out of all of the spears it had by far the best durability and this spear actually has slightly lower durability you would think oh that makes it great you know you can use it for long and yes you definitely can but with this new overhaul all of the new spears you can make with uh, machetes and knives and all that such have better durability than you what you're used to. So that means that this one is not as special as it would be, let's say, if it was just vanilla setting. But I still think that in simple overhaul spears make for amazing weapons. So I do want to rank this one up high. It's somewhere in the A tier, really depends what you want to use, right? Do you want to go machetes? Do you want to go long blunt? Do you want to go axes? Spear, let's say somewhere in the middle over here. It's very useful. So now let's take a look at spear with one of the new knives. I'm talking about military knife. I'm talking about combat knife. I'm talking about camping knife. As we established before, they are very similar to the hunting knife you're used to. So a spear with one of these means it's something like usually it would be a spear with hunting knife but it does have better durability than what they had in vanilla which means this is now a very long range weapon that can deal a lot of damage and it also takes a while to break meaning this spear just suddenly became one of the best weapons you can get out here and it's also pretty easy to make i feel like this one can be up here in the s tier and then we have the spear with one of the new machetes. So let's say military machete, kukri machete, or billhook machete, right? This one, as you can imagine, great damage. While it is heavier than one of these uh, that we have for the new knives, it's still lighter than a spear with machete that you would personally be used to back in vanilla which means you get more swings out of it before you get tired it has actually really good durability now so it's gonna last you for quite a while and again it's great damage it's long reach and it actually looks cool so if you personally prefer to use spears and if you want to have some extra reach or just the machete then you know what why not add a machete to a spear and go ham with it i'm gonna put it up here in the s tier as well and there we have it the ranking is done let me know what you personally think about these what would you change which are your personal favorite weapons to use in project zomboid and have you used this mod yet if you haven't 
you probably should check it out. Simple overhaul, melee weapons, it's gonna be linked down below. Also, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, there's a link in the description. Go check it out. Use the promo code COCO16FM and get yourself a bunch of free meals and free dessert. Thank you for watching.